over now to the Syracuse side of things and athletic director John Wildack. John, how much does it mean to you and to the program to be playing in the Bad Boy Mowers Pinstripe Bowl come December 29th? Good morning, Ryan and Mark. It's, it's, uh, it's great. We're proud and privileged to represent the ACC and our alumni, um, our student body, and our fans to participate in the 2022 Bad Boy Mowers Pinstripe Bowl. Um, I want to thank the Yankees, uh, Randy Levine and Mark Holtzman, and Mark mentioned it, but uh, Mr. Steinbrenner, his his passion for college football is absolutely incredible. Um, and to play in this game for the third time, it's an honor for our program. Um, when we uh, we had our team banquet Sunday night, and uh, when I told, when I talked about going to coming to New York, playing in Yankee Stadium, one of the great iconic venues in the world, the media capital of the world an area that we have so many alumni and fans from, uh, players from the tri-state area. So it's, 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 a perfect, uh, it's a perfect opportunity for us. We're thrilled to, again, to represent the ACC. We congratulate uh, Coach Fleck and Mark uh, on the season that Minnesota had, a very formidable opponent. We look forward to a great game. Um, and again, we're just pleased to, to participate. And it's going to be a wonderful experience for, for our young men. And for our staff as well to spend uh, three, four days in New York City and, and to cap it off by playing in Yankee Stadium. Stadium. John, you're very familiar with this venue, with this market. How much is it going to mean to you and how exciting is it going to be to just see Yankee Stadium filled with orange shirts, jerseys, jackets like we know we're going to see based on previous outputs when it comes to this bowl game and the Syracuse alumni and fan base? I mean, you know, New York City is it's kind of like our second home. And, and um, again, to play in the game twice um, has been a great experience. It's been 10 years since we've been back. And I just think, you know, when, when our guys and our staff gets down there and they get the full New York experience and they get to the stadium, you know, it's going to be something that's memorable. This this is not just another bowl game. You're playing in New York. You're playing in the media capital of the world. Our fans will be there. You're playing in Yankee Stadium. It's as big a stage um, as there is, and it's a wonderful opportunity. And and I, our guys, they're energized. Our staff is energized, and we can't wait to be there. Well, we're looking forward to having you. We're going to have and you're going to check in now with your head coach, Dino Babers. Coach, congratulations. Uh, just kind of piggybacking off of what John had to say. What has the energy been like around you, your staff, and your players since finding out you're coming to Yankee Stadium? Well, the energy, the energy has been high. But first, Ryan, I want to thank you, Randy, Randy Levine of the Yankees. Mark, you know I love you. You guys, thank you so much for picking us. This is going to be an exciting time. Uh, I'm glad that I don't have to learn the names of the athletic director and the other head coach or practice saying that, you know, <laughs> congratulations to, to Mark Coyle and PJ. I guess we're going to end up having dinner somewhere again where we bump into each other. I bump into PJ more having dinner than any other head coach in college football. <laughs> so uh, this is this is just a natural for us. But uh, young men are extremely excited. I've had numerous calls. This will be my first opportunity with the pinstripe bowl. But uh, the bad boy mowers uh, pinstripe ball. But I've had numerous calls from coaches in the ACC that are jealous. They're like, hey, this you're going to a great bowl. I've heard nothing but fantastic things about it. And uh, I'm excited to not only get an opportunity to spend New York, you know, Christmas Day in New York or the Christmas holidays over the, in New York, but also Yankee Stadium, which I've been to before. And it's all the things that everyone has already said here. But it's uh, you know, it's a classic. It's a uh, it's a must do. And uh, when this is all said and done, hopefully, uh, it'll be one of those things that one of those boxes that you check that you've got that done and that you were part of not only a fantastic bowl, a fantastic city, but being taken care of by a fantastic organization that's always first class, the New York Yankees. Yankees. Coach, you guys had a really strong performance that final regular season game of the season against Boston College coming up with a victory. What stood out to you about the way your team played in that game and what you want to see your group duplicate when you get here to Yankee Stadium? Well, first of all, I like the fourth quarter a lot better than I did the first quarter. <laughs> but, uh, the, one, the one thing that, was, that really stood out was it's a rival game. There was um, 
people were out there giving each other the business. I think that's the best way to put it. That referee had that one shot that's on YouTube, quote unquote, 15 yards, personal foul, giving the other guy the business. There was a lot of business going on in that game. <laughs> and uh, I, I would like for the bowl game to be just as exciting, just as hard fought. Maybe, uh, well, take the maybe out, less business <laughs> going on out there and just two good football teams uh, celebrating having a really good seasons and going out there and playing for one another and playing for the uh, not only the names, the surnames on the back, but the uh, university's names on the front. Tenth appearance at Yankee Stadium for Syracuse. When you talk about the current stadium as well as the original Yankee Stadium, how much is it going to mean to you, Coach, to have your alum here, have your fans here, and know you're going to feel a lot of support in this building at Yankee Stadium? Oh, uh, in 2018, we got an opportunity to take all the fans down to uh, Florida, and I think this one's going to be great. Let's stay at home. Let's uh, sleep on our own beds, and uh, let's come out in full force. I think there's no doubt that uh, – the orange will be there and uh, i think they're looking they're getting excited and they're and they're waiting for a, a good contest versus a fabulous big 10 football team and a fabulous program pj and i go back uh all the way to our days at other universities which we won't mention here but you know <laughs> we've broken bread before so uh i'm sure that'll be good and then uh when it comes to mark coyle i think he has a a, a fantastic discernment when it comes to first judgment and hiring good coaches.